This is an update on what's been going on with the SkyMaster. So what's been happening is it's got an upgraded panel and avionics. If you remember from the last video, uh, the panel was in quite a bit of disarray. So a lot of stuff has gone through, a lot of the old stuff has been removed, and a lot of new stuff has been added. I guess the backbone of this is the actual panel. So this of course is a piece of aluminum. It's been uh, custom fitted and powder coated. And I think it improves the cosmetics quite a bit. The big parts of the upgrade are, so the uh, Navcom, it's a Garmin GTN 750XI. Over on this side, I added two Garmin GI 275s. It's got an engine monitor, that's the JPI 790. And then other small things like uh, a new transponder. So overall I'm really happy with how this looks. I haven't flown it yet and uh, I won't be able to fly it today. But uh, I look forward to uh, flying it soon. There's going to be quite a bit of a learning curve with all just getting used to the new avionics. Um, but I think that's going to be part of the fun. For the main flight instruments, uh, I did really think about uh, switching it out for uh, the G500. But I actually do like the looks of these uh, round gauges. Because of the autopilot, so it's the 400 IFCS, I had to keep gyros in it. And so I've got the, the Attitude Gyro and the HSI. I had to keep those because those <clears throat> are what gives information for the, uh, the 400 autopilot. So unfortunately I couldn't do the a vacuum delete. I had to keep these for now. If Garmin ever certifies the GFC 500 or 600, then likely I would replace, replace uh, the autopilot at that time. And then, you know, then I could theoretically delete these. So it's a bit of a duplication right now because of course the GI 275s do the same information. But there's advantages, obviously it's digital. It has the GPS steer, which will talk to the autopilot, so the GPSS. So I haven't uh, really played with these 275s yet. You know, the obvious comparator would be to replace with a G5. The 275s uh, do cost more than the G5. I think they look a bit nicer having the, uh, the round instead of the square of the G5. And they do have a bit more functionality. So this is something that I'll have to play with and decide, you know, really which, uh, which settings I want to keep all this on. That'll be part of the learning curve. For this engine monitor, I'm using it basically as a secondary monitor. So I have still retained, uh, the, you know, the engine, engine gauges, including fuel gauges, everything like that. But I'll be using this as a, well, as a secondary monitor. So obviously it gives me much more information than the original uh, gauges did. So that's just a very brief uh, overview of the new avionics. Obviously this is something that took a lot of uh, work and that was not done by me, that was done by the aircraft mechanic and the my avionics guy. But it took uh, quite a bit of time to get this all sorted out nicely. I'm really excited to start using it and hope to be doing that soon. Thanks for watching.